back to Tennis Central, although we've never left, I guess. Anyway, and what we're going to do next, now we're going to start doing some racket skills that will lead into play. As I, And what we're going to do to stay safe is have the kids grab two balls out of the hopper that have not been used in, in, in months. So um, there's no danger of contract, at least that I'm aware of. So they'll have their own balls. Gentlemen, go grab a ball each, please. And what we're going to do is we're going to do some bumps. And that is, uh, in the old days, they would have you start bumping with your racket in front. So what I'm going to ask you to do is make it more tennis appropriate. You have the racket on the side so you create your separation. At the same time that you turn the racket, I want you to turn your foot. That's what we call loading. So you're going to go like this and hit on the right side of yourself here. And the boys, you can start at the same time. Go. So you're going to toss. Racket on the right side of you, or left side if you're lucky, and try to open your, turn your foot in that direction that you're hitting. So if you're hitting your left forehand, try to get your toe facing more that way. And if you're hitting your, the right-handed forehand, get your toe facing that way, okay? Got it, boys? Yeah. Now the grip on this one should be more continental, and what that means is the V of your hand just comes right on the top of the racket like this. Okay, for this exercise, so William, please give me a continental grip and use a forehand. So we're going like this, forehand side, right side if you're righty, left side if you're left. And just get the rhythm of the bounce, okay? Tennis is about rhythm. If you get comfortable with that, or when you get comfortable with that, shift so your knuckles are facing upwards, Point the left toe in this direction, or left foot in that direction, and now do the backhand. How are we doing, boys? Okay. Good. And now, let's make it a little more dynamic where we're going to shift forehand to backhand. You ready, boys? So it's going to look like this. Two. Lift it up a little more. One. Two. Lift it up a little more and just keep shifting from your forehand side to your backhand side. Let's see it. Now, don't do it in front, Alice. Try to keep it on the side of you. Uh, no. Well, we're going to do it hopefully the way I'm teaching it, but thank you, William. Please try to follow what the instructor is saying to do, unlike these two over here. They're laughing today. Normally I'm a lot meaner to them when we're really working with them, but today it's not. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do, guys, is we're going to start putting it together. So, William, you come in this box. And now you come in this box. And your objective is to do the exact same thing. Set. Have your racket ready. And you're going to bounce it until it bounces in his box. And he bounces in his box. See the lines that I drawn there, or not drawn, the markers I put down. When you're home again, you can use chalk, set up some sort of boundaries, and then you can set up a game back and forth. Good. Very nice. Excellent, gentlemen. Okay, so now we can make it a little more realistic. And if you're at home, what we can do is. Yeah, to the corners, please. Hurry up, hurry up. People want some action here, Alex and William. Let's go. All right, gentlemen. Now, over the chair, that's your. You can again make that. Oh, 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 So from here, you can even do a game. Hopefully, um, if you have a wall, you don't necessarily need to set up the chairs. But okay, guys, let's do a game to three, please. So we're gonna play to three points. And the grunting, you can 
see how that just adds some dimension to play. So if you guys want to grunt at home, you're welcome to. There's one. Hurt. Get a ball. Get the film is going. These people want action. Here we go. Notice how they're just bumping back and forth. There's very little back. I'm sorry. There's very little backswing. Uh, the racket's in front. They're they're not falling through right now. They're just working on the rhythm of the rally and shifting the weight. So if you, again, you don't have a partner. So we'll come over to the wall mm -hmm. and we'll. Same idea. I'm going to start with the bumps back and forth. Shifting. Same grip. Shifting the weight from left foot to right foot on the backhand and right foot to left foot on the forehand. So I would worry, mo I, I focus more on that the idea of capturing rhythm versus trying to get your technique perfect initially. And this is a great way to do it with what we were just focusing on, the bumps, remember? And then we segue to, if we didn't have a partner, find a wall. Ask your parents first if you can go against the garage and try to get lower compression balls if you have them. If not, sure, you can probably get you access to those. Beautiful, beautiful job. Okay, okay, we're almost there. A uh, couple more things to, to work on and focus on. One of them that are, that's very important in everything we do, any sport or activity that we do, and that is movement. So the base, basic movement, the first movement in tennis is the split step, is our ready position. And your objective is to get into like a spring-like position. So you never want to be standing straight. So when we get ready, um, in tennis, our first movement is where we, we do a slight hop and we bend into our hips like this, like we're sitting down. And that way I can spring upwards and go in any direction. So most of the errors I see as a coach is when the, the junior adult or whoever it is stands up too early and they lose that, that potential energy. So even from the ready position, which we'll show you a quick exercise for these guys, what they're going to do, you can practice this, this at home with a partner. If you don't have a partner, again, uh, we'll try to do it against the wall. So what they're going to do is they're going to face the fence, turn around. And when I say call out a name, that name's got to turn around with a jump into his, his split step and then hit the ball. Alex! Okay, the idea is to split and explode off your split, guys. Way up! Beautiful. Alex. Beautiful. William. Nice. Alex. Love it. William. No squeaking, please. Alex. William. All right, so I, I think you get the gist of what we're doing here is you always want to be in a ray position and but the idea of facing one way, shifting, and then exploding off of that shift. That's what tennis is about. It's a very explosive first step. You're never trying to gain momentum as you go. You launch off your first step. Oh, my mask is breathing heavy. It's so exciting coming in and out. So again, um, if I'm only against the wall, so in this case, my partner would be the wall. And so every time it um, after I hit, since I'm close to the wall, I'll probably split step right away. So you'll see me go here, ready position, here, ready position, here, ready position. So I'm always going into the split step when my opponent hits, or is about to hit. Okay, with, with that said, we're going to do a little more of a fun game on the next court. Gentlemen, go on over there. We're going to maintain our separation. I can't, we're going to do like a rolling rally ball tennis versus 
regular heading back and forth. And you can do this again in your driveway. Please don't do it if there's uh, if it goes into the road or some some sort of loss. Um, safety first. Don't run in the road after the ball. Look both ways. So the idea is they're going to try to hit it into each other's goals. I set up cones here, and they're going to split whenever the other person's going to try to hit it, and then try to get it into each other's goals. Okay, ready, boys? Here we go. Run to get that, please, because these people are getting this. Oh, now try to score on them. You, know, you guys are split step in between, please. No, not now. When he's about to hit it. stretcher but slower cool down but just so the kids have a little fun we're gonna use the big racket big yellow ball and have them hit that okay all right who's first Me. okay instead of our normal cool down cool down cool down cool down we are gonna do a little game at the end you guys can do that with a regular racket in the backyard you can use that that blue ball you can find at Walmart or something like that if you don't have one of these huge rackets that the kids were dying to use say our goodbye so first of all Alex is gonna go here we go set here we go oh! <laughs> all right one more one more here we go and go oh, he's out. oh my goodness all right one more Okay, thank you very much for giving us your time. That was our installment of tennis for the KO community. Um, hopefully you enjoyed that and stay safe. Notice how we maintained our distance, wore masks, and I, hopefully in the near future, you'll be able to have your friends come over and get on the court and we'll, we'll all just be able to do this in person. Thank you so much on behalf of KO and Sherry. Uh, we look forward to this and future installments. Thank you.